You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Nah, how do you not? How do you, how do you know I wasn't recording earlier? Because we've literally been no, saying nothing. No, I haven't nothing. been recording the whole time. Uh, I mean, you could have been, but. It I mean, we did we did we did talk about some useful stuff, you know, books, Mr. Beast, you know, YouTube we channel like stuff. Five minutes. No, 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 no. We also went over like analytics. That's you know, that sounds like Patreon type Dude. stuff. People don't care about our analytics. Something. Yeah, some people care about our analytics. Otherwise, why would they sub to the Patreon? And also, I had to wait until exactly five p.m. because then I'm off of work. So you know. Which, okay. Yeah. So I was just stalling for time. That's why we were watching Mr. Beast videos. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh. Anyway, man. Um. So, d what did you want to talk about today? I don't even. Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh, huh. That's a great question. Well, I can think of one thing. Um. So, y do you remember uh the guy who quit his job to work for Logan Paul last year? I do remember him. Yeah. A whole uh, internet clown that guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunate crying face meme white guy. Um, <laughs> that's a, it's a wild way to describe him. Yeah. There's actually an update to it. Uh, he put out an update on his personal YouTube channel and, um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, dude is not doing so hot. <laughs> uh, he was talking about how, um, ever since he quit his job, he has been quote unquote happy. He did it. Um, although he's living out of a hotel, like, okay, well, let me give some context too. He actually has a roommate in his hotel so he's <laughs> he's living in a hotel and not by himself and he doesn't know the guy like he found him on craigslist and he was like yeah you know we could just split the cost of the room and so when he films his youtube videos he has to leave the room and i'm just i'm not gonna lie man this dude is kind of strange this dude's kind of strange man he he has the personality of of a of a piece of wood honestly i don't know uh, how he got it in his head that he was going to become a youtube star and be an actor and just do all of these amazing things uh with no talent whatsoever no talent no skills no editing no nothing literally nothing now if i were to quit my job where I was making $100,000 a year. By the way, he was I it's been found out what he was doing. Uh he was a contract welder and his I think his dad had gotten him the job. So right out of college, he was just able to get a $100,000 a year job. Yeah, because the job is just, you know, so physically taxing and dangerous. So he was getting paid a large amount of money, which is interesting. Because if I'm making $100,000 a year, why did you quit your job to go and ask Logan Paul for a job? Like, why didn't you yeah, do that? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, why didn't you just go ask for the job first? I don't, I don't even know. I, I don't, his situation is so dumb because he had like, he, he should have known that there was a, a high chance Buddy was just going to say no. And by buddy, I mean Logan Paul. Yeah. <laughs> buddy was just going to say, yeah, no, I don't, I don't do that. Like, you know what I mean? When you're at a certain point in popularity, like you could just say no. Yeah. And yeah. even, even just generally speaking, you could just say no. So I, I guess it didn't, it never like occurred to him or even, even the slightest that, yeah, I could be told no. Yeah. That's uh. That's a different type of monster, man. Like not, not fathoming that or not being able to comprehend that this man could say no and send you back home crying. Like, first of all, putting putting a video of you crying on the internet is not a good look, bro. <laughs> that's yeah. I don't know if anybody told you that, but that's not. I'm definitely not hiring you now. Like, <laughs> you tried to make content out of this, and you didn't even make good content. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. So, uh. I say all this to be like, you know what? There was several stops that he could have gone to several different places where he could have been like, you know what? Maybe I should start my own YouTube channel first before going to Logan Paul and asking him like, and, and really just shooting my shot because honestly, the, the idea and the thought of trying to work for one of the Paul brothers, sure. You may get something out of it, 
but like what do you have to offer them that's another thing that kind of ticks me off it's like you didn't have anything to offer my dude like he didn't go there saying like oh you know i can edit or i'm i've produced this or here's my resume or anything like that he just showed up saying you know give me a job like dog you first of all er, pump the brakes here let's be real is you sucking dick like <laughs> Is you sucking dick is crazy. <laughs> no, I mean, for real. Like, like, what are you willing to do for this job? Like, I mean, if I quit, I mean, honestly, if I'm this guy and I'm throwing away basically my entire life, right? And I'm willing to do anything for Logan Paul to be a part of his team, to like be part of like an intern. He even says in the video, he's like, yeah, I risked everything for an internship. You risked everything for an internship, my guy? Hey, you making bad decisions. That just that just sounds fiscally irresponsible. That uh, and you I didn't you, it's, you didn't offer no head either. Like, hey, listen, at the bare minimum, you got to give yeah. some head, bro. The, for real, like if I'm Logan Paul and you can't offer me nothing, you better offer me some head. For sure. And, and you better so I'm still going to say no. Yeah, you better you better sell this like, yo, Logan, this is the greatest dome you will ever receive. Like out of all the women that have ever sucked your cock, bro, I swear I will do a thousand times better. Like come on, dude. Come on. Seriously, like who better who can please a man better than another man? Like, bro, you got to do something. <laughs> Yeah, something to get you out there, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, I would have been intrigued. Like if I'm Logan Paul, I would have been like, "Huh?" I might have to. I might have to see what this head is about. This guy is really talking this. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know I mean, about that one. I mean, for real, if I'm Logan Paul, I'm intrigued. I'm like, why would he? Why would he say he could give head? So amazing if he can't do it. You know what I mean? Like, I got. Do, boys, do I try this? Do I try this head right now? <laughs> I don't think that's a thought that went through his head. I, I gotta. Like, I gotta damn, consult with the rest tough. of the team. Nah, I mean, if somebody came up and was like so boldly said like yo my my head is fire like i'd be like hold on hold on wait wait there's a grown-ass man telling me his head is fire i i'm curious i'm intrigued like <laughs> I'm a, yeah, I'm a, if you're <laughs> curious you're, you're a sicko <laughs> no i'm curious, curious as to i'm curious as to why would he offer me this why does why does he think it's okay to offer me this you know what i'm saying like he seen me with some badass bitches like Alyssa Violet, like all these other chicks and stuff like that. Or like, what's that other blonde girl he used to date? Like, man, um, like they probably gave top shelf dome, and this man thinks he could give better dome than them. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not inquiring about some dome from a man is crazy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like your selling point gotta be gotta be tremendous gotta be tremendous if you think you're gonna sell me sell me on some dome because you can't even sell me on getting giving you a job you see what i'm saying like like your selling expertise got to be up there that's all i'm saying so but i mean you know uh peace and yeah. blessings to that guy he has four thousand subs um he's clearing like 1200 views a video though which is insane like that's still like a lot of people. He really could like if he uploaded more, like I pulled up his channel. Like if he uploaded more, he could actually like build a YouTube career. He really could. Like I can't tell if it's like and of course in the in the comments people are sympathizing with him like hey, you know, we're on your side. Like you did what most people wouldn't do and like these are people that are genuinely praising him, which is so crazy because he's poor. But no, I'm I'm okay. dead serious. It's not like he's He's not funny. He's not making sketches. There are three to four thousand people watching every single one of his videos because he's poor. Like, and and leaving positive comments. Like, let that sink in for a second. There are people who are making like great content out there getting no views. And this guy, because he's poor and is really milking this Logan Paul wouldn't hire me thing for like eight videos since last August, mind you. Like, it is, today, as of the recording of this video, it's, what, uh, July 6th? Yeah. So, my man has been riding this wave, uploaded eight or nine videos since August. It's like one video a month. And he's getting three to 4,000 views per video. Like, dog, you could have did something productive with that amount of, like, attention. But, and he still could. 
That's what's crazy is like, I know people that are working 10 times harder than this guy that are actually good at stuff. And he's crying about not having a job with Logan Paul. Mm. Odd behavior. Odd, I'm odd, very odd I, behavior. I don't know. He tried to get his fame off. Uh, he tried to hit that, you know what I mean? Get some free cloud off, off Logan Paul. And then it ended up kind of going south. Yeah. Didn't even offer any dumb bitch ass. Yeah, um, <laughs> didn't offer anything. But no, really, like not that I not that dome would be the first thing I offered, but not the first you know thing, but I mean? the definitely, last, definitely the last. Yeah, very, very last. That's what I'm saying. Like he didn't, and like even in the video, it's not like he's talking himself up in the video either. He really is just like, yeah, I'm from Ohio. Like I, I've never had a YouTube channel before. I don't know how to do it. That's how he was selling himself. I've never done this before. I've never done that. I don't know how to do this. I don't even make my own videos. And Logan is just like what like like what the fuck like, like, homie probably would have did better coming and asking me for a job like <laughs> i would have said no but i would have been like what about that dome though <laughs> mm. <laughs> but anyway i joking aside i know people who are working 10 times harder than this guy that have 10 times the talent but they're not getting 10 times the views they're really not they're lucky to get 50 to 60 views a video you know some are mm. getting 12 I know a guy who's been working very diligently for the past four years on his personal YouTube channel, uploading one specific niche and getting maybe once a month, a thousand views. So it's like, bro, mm. you really, he really is missing an opportunity here. And I say, I, I can say this because, you know, as a person who's paying for a YouTube coach who just in the, what, four days I've maybe not even four days, five days that I've had a YouTube coach, my views have exponentially gone up 4.8 thousand views in the last like two to three days. So, yeah. I mean, you know, to say you're not taking advantage of something is, is really like an understatement. So I'm just, I'm just wondering like, buddy, what are you doing? And this is not to just, dis- I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry. I was going to say, like, it just seems like Buddy doesn't want it enough. Like, that's kind of yeah. where I'm at. Like, he's, I, I'm, I looked at his channel as well. It's just like, he tried some stuff, and then I guess he didn't see the instant gratification, or he didn't see the, the results he wanted, and immediately it was like, all right, well, I'm going to call it. Like, you could see here, it's like he's been uploading a couple times a month, you know what I mean? But that's not a, that's really not enough. No. In the beginning, right? Because he has, what, three, four, five, six, 18 videos in total, and a few of them are shorts. Mm. Like, that's not a over 10 months. 18 videos over 10 months is not good. <laughs> it's not enough to build you a catalog. <laughs> no, and it's certainly not. not capitalizing on anything that you could have built from the situation. Oh, yeah. The, fir- the first thing I would have made is I would have made, like, daily videos about, like, my life after Logan Paul rejected me or some shit like that. Like, I would have been yeah. – I would have had daily vlogs of me, like, fucking boohooing and crying. And I would have been like, I tried to apply to a job at IHOP just to impress Logan Paul. Like, I would I would have done some crazy shit. <laughs> Mm. but you know i'm not white so uh okay what no i'm just saying being being white is definitely uh an appealing factor you know what i mean like i mean somehow i think of it this way what if this guy was uh gideon you know what i mean like uh gideon is successful exactly he would have rode that shit like any type of event that happens in that guy's life he would have just like drove it into oblivion. You know what I mean? Like he takes videos that he does like way out of the box. Like he'll take a concept of something of like, uh, Logan Paul rejected me for a job and, uh, and end up like, and make 26 videos later and end up, uh, I, <laughs> I tried, I tried fighting Logan Paul for a job. You know what I mean? Like he, he, he would just go way, way too far. You know what I mean? So yeah, there are plenty of examples of like really good YouTubers, and I feel like this guy doesn't even watch YouTube videos. Like, I I genuinely believe like it's it's kind of like how we were watching the Mr. Beast uh, uh, interview with Joe Rogan, and he was talking about how for like a year he and his buddies were studying YouTube all day and all night 
Like they would get up at six, seven o'clock in the morning, be in a Skype call all day, just discussing like what works, what doesn't work, examining thumbnails, examining like every video that's over 10,000 views at that time, you know, and like really studying what works, how, like, when do people cut edits and stuff like that? What makes it more appealing? He didn't do any of that. And it's very important to like study not only your own content, but the content of others. And it's almost like he didn't plan for it, not just plan for anything, but he doesn't want to do anything. He just wants shit just to want shit. Yeah. Which I feel like is very, um, it's giving, what's the word? Entitled? Entitlement. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And I, I, I don't know, man. I, I can't judge this guy based off of his character. I can only judge him off of his actions and the things he puts in his YouTube videos. And just from watching the be honest video that he put out, dude really thinks he's like going somewhere and i mean maybe maybe he knows something that i don't know but it is definitely i feel like if he ended up being successful based off of this failure i personally would be offended <laughs> not by him but just by society and by like life in general i be like you mean to tell me this guy's a failure in life has no skills nothing whatsoever and then gets a netflix deal i would be so fucking mad I would I would be genuinely upset. Like, I I don't know because I, then I would feel like that's a spit in the face of like hardworking content creators who just weren't at the right place at the right time. Which yeah, you know why would a Netflix? Lot of those. Yeah, I like I see Netflix doing something like that. Like if Netflix was like, oh, let's reach out to this Austin guy because he's the guy who you know, got rejected by Logan Paul because they can't get a Logan Paul show because Logan Paul's probably like, what? No, I make more money on YouTube. Like, why would I get take a Netflix deal? Or whatever, whatever the case may be. That's Netflix's way of getting a Logan Paul, quote unquote, titled show on Netflix. That And then they don't have to pay Logan Paul for anything except for like, the t like if they put his name in the title. But then they would just promo it for Austin's sake. And then they're like, yeah, we'll give you $250,000 Austin for your story and put it on Netflix. I think if that happened, I would be genuinely, I think I would go over the edge. I think that would, <laughs> you thought I was talking That's about bitches one. before, bro. I, I would make an entire like series where I just go around red pilling bitches. Like at this point, like, hey, yo. Uh, I, I really would. I would do, like, public interview st style stuff, but, like, make it gaming related. And it's just like, oh, could you date a gamer? And then if a girl was like, yes or no, and it's like, why would a gamer date you? You're you're a bitch. You know, or something like that. Like, I would do something wow. crazy. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I would do. So, I would be so upset. It would send me into a content spiral where I would just be making the most obscure shit I could make. And, you know, I'd be like, no, this is going to work. I, I would get so obnoxious, like with making content. I would, I would throw the SEO and all this other shit out the window. I would just be trying to do like a, uh, trying, <laughs> trying to teach my friend's mom how to play video games and making it seem like it gone sexual. You know what I mean? Like I would do some shit like that. <laughs> gone sexual is crazy. <laughs> you see what I mean? Like. That's that's how far I would take it, bro. Like I, I really would feel like there is no limits at that point. Like and making content is just to make content at that point, you know? Mm. So and I would just utilize what I would learn from the YouTube Academy. Um, and I would just do really obnoxious shit, like uh challenging Mr. Beast to Street Fighter in real life. And it's just <laughs> <laughs> just a fight. Just a fight. That's literally all it is. It's just a fight. And then you get escorted out <laughs> as soon as you try to touch him. Yeah, basically. We get it on cam, man. That's it. To picking a fight with YouTubers. <laughs> like, that shit would be crazy. So, you know. Uh, but yeah, man, I don't I don't know. Trying to get a trying to get a job from Mr. Beast, and if he doesn't give me one, I fight him. Like <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> doxing logan paul and literally just going around in the hollywood hills hi does logan paul live here <laughs> doxing logan paul, logan paul is a crazy title because that's illegal yeah, exactly but, <laughs> but i'm clicking on that video 
<laughs> searching for Logan Paul in LA. Yeah, exactly. Doxing That's probably a little better than bro, doxing is crazy. Nah, nah, nah. Doxing I'm putting, is I'm a putting little, doxing little in too the, much. Nah, I'm putting that shit in the title for sure. No, no, no. For sure. Okay. Who's going to stop me? Logan Paul? <laughs> the government? No, the government doesn't give a shit about YouTubers. That's fair. Yeah, so, you know, I would just like pick YouTubers at random and just be like, yeah, I'm trying to fight him. Like, why not? <laughs> What's he going to do? Stop me? It's like, yeah, he'll call security. I'll fight security too. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'll, okay. Start off, I'll start off with a video and it's me in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, let me tell you the story of what happened. I yeah. tried to fight Logan Paul for $10,000 that I didn't have. <laughs> I took out a $10,000 loan just to fight Mr. Beast. And his security beat me up. <laughs> Come on, man. That's viral, bro. That's viral if I ever heard it. Come on. That's fucking funny. And yeah. I mean, considering all of the other goofy shit that goes viral on the internet, why would that not... Why would that be an exception, you know? So, especially because I already have an audience a little bit. It's not like I'm starting from zero. You know, I already have like a couple hundred people that will watch that video and be like, I got to share this. This guy is dumb. I, I truly feel this like... This guy the, is dumb as crazy. Honestly, that's what I would be saying. Like if I saw my own video like that and that wasn't me, like I was having an out-of-body experience and saw somebody, I probably gave somebody like a, a hundred thousand... A hundred thousand view video right now, a like half a million views easily. I traveled all the way to L.A. to fight Logan Paul and could. <laughs> Come on, man! Come on, like that's another thing this guy could have did was fist fight Logan Paul for a job, especially because that would have been relevant because it was at the time of his uh, Mayweather fight. Like that would have been that's a no brainer. That's putting two and two together. But you know, mm. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm a shitty YouTuber. So true. Yeah, I mean, not for long though. I'm about to fight Logan Paul. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> I mean, I don't see an issue. Now that guy that. might beat the brakes off you. Yeah, honestly, that that dude is like almost twice my size. Yeah, nah, nah. I shot Logan. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nah, shot is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> the Mr. Beast video is getting to you. Yeah, yeah honestly, I mean, but for real, Mr. Beast is one of the biggest YouTubers on the platform. Like, who is really making? Who is going more viral than Mr. Beast? Nobody. Yeah, on, nobody. like on a video by video basis, every video he puts out, no matter what channel it is, goes viral. Always on trending, always getting more than millions of views. Like. He even said in the Joe Rogan podcast, he was like, yeah, if I get a video that only does 10 million views, that's a failure to me. Damn. 10, like 10 million. That's like, eh, so, so like imagining 10 million views on a single video and calling that a failure is just absurd. And so that's yeah. why like copying one of the biggest and most we can easily say most influential content creators on the platform ever i mean that's that's an understatement why would you not want to copy somebody's videos like that i mean yeah i mean it's a good strategy i'm just saying yeah like and, and it really makes me think back to like sensationalized uh, sensationalized content and stuff like that and i've had conversations and people will say i'm disrespectful for this but i mean i feel like etika was that way a lot because of his personality, he was able to hype up videos and make videos exciting to watch. Mm. And he was just like such a cool energy to watch, rather that be on stream or in a video. And I really want to ch channel that same like Etika, Mr. Beast, like even to an extent, Jake Paul, like type of video, you know, like these are successful people within the space. Why would you not? Like I could never see a reason why I would ever be not original in in taking their content and applying it to my own and like using that as a template because what is it uh good good artists create great artists steal i think uh, that's how the <laughs> quote is no i genuinely believe is that that's a real how, quote yeah that's a real quote great artists steal yeah, yeah, yeah. great <laughs> artists steal that's just that's just the way it is so great artists steal is a crazy quote i mean but they do 
They they really do. So I, I don't doubt that. Yeah, I mean, we've had good artists in the past before, whether that be music, art, or anything else like that. Great artists just sample their music. We steal it. That's it. You know True. what I mean? So, especially because after a certain amount of time. When you really understand the space, you know what works and what doesn't work. Like, I, I think if Mr. Beast had my channel for like a week, I'd have a million subs. No problem. You probably. Probably. But, that's, but you also don't have the Mr. Beast budget. I mean, he didn't always have his budget either. He said his his first video was like a gaming video that hit 100,000 views because it was like a mobile game that he was playing. And like... Yeah. He was just like, he paid a hacker like 10 bucks or something like that. And he was like destroying other people's bases or some shit like that. And it hit 100,000 views. So. Yeah. And he made that. Oh, excuse me. He made that video with $10 and an iPhone. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like he was yeah. doing anything crazy. So I think gaming videos <laughs> are just a little different because you're relying on the medium of somebody else's content. Um. Like, for example, you know, me making a God of War Ragnarok video. Like, if I wanted to make that viral, like, how would that even work? I don't know. I'd have to do some crazy shit. I'd have to be like... You just have to be Alfred Senju. I mean, I guess, but he makes, like, gaming-ish videos. But, I mean, if I wanted to make a gaming video specifically like how Mr. Beast makes it, you know, there's lots of yelling at the beginning. Uh, it's really just, like presents the content in the form of a challenge so if i wanted to make a god of war video i'd probably do something weird like beating god of war in 20 in, in like a x amount of time no nah, i'd have to be even crazier than that yeah like those videos don't generally do well you'd have to be like oh uh what is it god of war but i can't attack or something yeah yeah Be beating god of war without the axe like <laughs> yeah no so i i feel like those are things that present a challenge and they pique other people's interests and stuff like that. And that's just what I'm learning just from Mr. Beast, you know? So it appeals to people. It's something that people want to watch. Then I can put it in the God of War Ragnarok trailer and be like, okay, yeah, I'm reacting to this. Like yeah. reacting to God of War trailer without view, without watching it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> watching the God of War trailer blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> so that's also why i think um as far as like content elden ring does really well because there are people doing amazing shit with elden ring i watched a two hour long video of this guy trying to make a compilation of one-shotting every boss in the game without using like the kamehameha wave thing it was just like yeah. using a basic hammer or some shit like that and i sat there and i actually watched that video for two hours I watched there it because, you, you know, I wanted to see his build and specifically, like, what items he picked up. Because, you know, now that I'm trying to, like, actually beat Elden Ring, there's, like, a... Like, I'm level 140, but I'm still, like, getting bitched on by, like, tons of enemies in the game. I'm like, how the fuck you do you get... You haven't beat it yet? No, I haven't beat it yet. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's why I sent, you're like, the message... The, yeah, that's why I sent the message the other day. I was like, we need to figure out how to do co-op. Like, the seamless co-op. Um... So I'm very interested in doing that. Um, guys, let us know in the comments if you want to see me and Plank uh, play some co-op Elden Ring. I, I think that'd be know if I want to do that. I think that'd be pretty fun. Listen, stop being a stop being a party pooper. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Come on. I, it's not that. It's just like I already I beat it. Like I beat it multiple times. All right. Well, you, I did a run gotta... where we we RP'd as like different roles, like Dungeons and Dragons, and we beat it. That and we way. didn't make. There's no content. Where's the content? Where's the content? Well. That? Well, the well, the content was the fact that it was the worst experience of my life. But uh, yeah, who'd you do that? that I, who'd you do that co-op with? It was me, Uber, PM, and Fox. That sounds like fun. But and Fox nobody made a Fox nobody didn't really play. It was just me, Uber, and PM. Bro, <laughs> you realize that would have been a good video to make. <laughs> yeah, that would have been a great video if I don't get t ten FPS when I play online. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good point. But that's not. That's not your fault. That's the game's fault, though, isn't it? No, it's part partially my fault because I'm poor. Oh, well, that sucks. <laughs> can't help. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, can't help. Well, I mean, thanks to our patrons, we've got a little bit of a we got a little bit of change. Might be yeah. able to make some computer upgrades pretty soon. So shout out to you guys. I shout know out I to can't, all of our. But... Yeah, it, well, pretty soon you will. 
Yeah, so, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty soon. So, I mean, shout out to all of our patrons. Thank you guys so much for yeah, thank supporting you. us. Thank you so much. Uh, honestly, once again, I say this every show. We would not be able to do this without you guys. Uh, we we love and appreciate you guys so much. So, you know, we just try to bring you. you. The, we just try to bring you uh, good content. Because I mean, the amount of times that we're sitting in the Discord and just talking shit and just having a good time, it's like this could have been Patreon content. Also true. But it's probably a good thing that we don't because it's literally me just bitching about bitches all the time. So I mean that that's sometimes like, that's what people want to hear. I mean that's like eighty five percent of my content is just crying. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Lover boy J. I went twenty four hours without talking about females. <laughs> Challenge gone impossible. <laughs> Ultra hard difficulty. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking Going of possible, yeah. Speaking of ultra hard difficulty, uh, I started uh, Sekiro this week. Oh, that's a game's fun. Yeah, it it started off pretty fun, but it got a little annoying, um, just because there were the amount of like things that were like clipping through walls and killing me was kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, and then of course I already know how to parry from Ghost of Tsushima and Elden Ring, so like as I was playing this game, I was like. The humanoid enemies were so easy to parry. I was like, okay, you're super stupid easy. And then there was like this one giant guy in that first area. Parrying him was pretty easy too, but he kept beating my ass because he kept grappling me. And I was like, okay, well, clearly I can't parry a grapple. So, yeah. um, and he kept grabbing me by my leg and flailing me around. And I was like, all right, this is, this is going to be kind of stupid. It took me about like four tries to beat him. And then after that, I was like, all right, I think I'm, I'm too tired to play this game. So... Uh, I'll probably go back and play that maybe tomorrow. P Everybody seems to be enjoying Death Stranding uh, when I'm streaming it. So mm, I'm kind of finish that one up. Yeah, I got to finish that one up. Uh, everybody falls asleep when I play Elden Ring for some reason. So and not only that, it's very interesting when I um, when I'm streaming and I decide to stream a game that's not. I mean, obviously, my retention hasn't. It's been a while since I've played it, but Overwatch is probably the most successful retention based thing i've ever streamed um but it's like as soon as i'm i start playing a game my chat is just like non-existent mm. and i'm trying to figure that out i mean i understand like now that i do funny enough i do have four or five women that come into my stream um and you know they'll I'm not saying they want to talk but i'm saying as soon as i turn on the game they disappear so it's like hmm hmm these are people that are active in the chat too. So I care more about the chat activity than I do me streaming whatever game I'm streaming. So mm. obviously I've spent more time doing just chatting than like actually playing games, which I don't, I don't feel some type of way about, but also at the same time, it's like, it feels easy for me to play games compared to like sitting and talking I don't know why, but like, even though I obviously talk at like a high level all the time, like, cause I'm constantly talking about shit and I can literally go on like a run on sentence, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the math behind this. So, you know, I mean, I think it's just, it's just when you're, people are actually paying attention to when you're playing it, mm -hmm. then it's like harder to get, it's harder to get interaction. But if you like, uh, let's say let's say you you were just talking it's just different because you're literally talking to them right and sometimes the game you have to let the game speak when especially with death stranding elden ring and shit like you're kind of i mean elden ring a little less so but like death stranding you're paying attention to what the fuck is going on on screen for the most part true true like you, you know what i mean especially for first playthroughs But I don't know. I think it's like my suggestion would be get some emotes. People love emotes. Either that or uh, do something. You got to sub the emotes. Some... And, you know, so far, you know, oh, yeah. that's also true. I mean, you can make emotes so that, uh, that everyone can use that yeah, just followers yeah. can use. I, I enjoyed that's why I enjoy being on YouTube, because YouTube offers that automatically. Like even if you're not part of like the membership or whatever, if you've spent a certain amount of time, like they have a embedded loyalty system 
and then you can use like certain emotes it's like you can use three or four or five of them or whatever and then there's like the paid emotes or like the membership emotes so i don't know i i considered going back to streaming on youtube for for a minute only because you know like the viewership is there the low-key the profit is there but like <laughs> i i mean i just i i don't like giving my i don't like twitch uh per se having their hand their greedy little hands in everything and that's not just like money that's also like the fact that when i start my stream people are getting an ad like of course there's no way around that but yeah for me to be like a small streamer and twitch to have the nerve to like put an ad in front of like my seven fucking viewers and then it drops down to three because they got an ad i'm like bro this is this is fucking bullshit or yeah. if somebody the, like the for the first time is <clears throat> discovering my channel or discovering my page really and the first thing they say in chat is damn i got an ad and like it's a it's a brand new like first person in like first time the person is in chat and it's like then i i respond to that person oh you know like welcome blah 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 and i hear no second response from them because they decided to leave like that really really kills momentum so yeah i don't that's that's the big thing with twitch in general is that they they have to enforce it now because they're just losing so much money being a streaming platform right and it's not really something you can avoid you can try to take like but the thing is if you take pre-roll ads you suddenly have to do mid-roll ads right and I mean, you can change it so you get like a 30 second ad, but that's still this problem still remains. Right. People don't want to see ads. Right. Yeah. And there's not really much you can do about it. Yeah. Outside of just giving Twitch direct, you know, like money directly. So, yeah, which we've talked about before. Yeah. 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 So fuck all that noise. Fuck Twitch. But in comparison where there's YouTube, you know, I'm the amount of monetization I make just based off of every single viewer i mean we've talked about it before but you know it's exponentially different but the environment on youtube live is just way different it's not like you can go to live.youtube.com and like there's nothing but live stuff which actually would probably be a bit like way more beneficial on youtube's part but whatever uh which is why i thought youtube gaming was so good because when you go to gaming.youtube.com and it shows like the channels that you're sub to and who's live like right then and there so mm. that was like significantly better significantly but you have the discovery there but nobody wants to be on youtube live like or like ah, that's not true i mean it's people it, want to be there if they're getting paid to be there yeah like, yeah yeah true the streamers true. that is i mean i don't really watch any live streams on youtube ever Unless I've given the given the direct link. Because it, YouTube already has an issue with its notification system. YouTube already has an I issue with its discoverability. Like when it comes to like certain categories and things like that. They don't have a very good homepage for stuff. And Twitch already has these things like figured out. Like when you go to the Twitch homepage, like there's popular people at the top for the homepage. Cool. Then you have categories underneath. Then you have like a slew of random other shit down at the bottom. They have their UI figured out. YouTube doesn't, because when you go to YouTube, you see nothing but, but content everywhere, VOD content everywhere, like, and unless you're a, a YouTube, what I'll consider a YouTube power user, and you go and you change your settings around the stuff that you actually want to see, majority of people are not a quote unquote power user, like they're mm. just not. So unless like my stream is blasted in your face or I'm sending notifications directly to you, you're not really going to know I'm streaming. So, you know, that's my issue with those platforms. Like you're kind of damned if you do on one, damned if you don't on the other. So, you know, I'm going to start plugging um, like the my PayPal more because yeah. they were the other day when I... <laughs> I probably shouldn't say the other day when I took my shirt off on stream, we got we got mad subs. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> anyway. So YouTube's UI just doesn't doesn't allow for any of that. And uh I'm gonna be honest, man. It's mad annoying. I am trying to cultivate a an actual career here. 
And they're just not, they're just like, yeah, no, nah, we're not having it. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. You thought. Hey, man. I mean, at least your situation's getting better. You know, yeah, it is. In very, very small steps and in small increments, uh, which I can't complain about. I'm very, very grateful for, but I'm very impatient. Um, I was explaining this to a friend of mine the other day um, that I experience time differently because of my my multiple mental disorders. Which is why, like, you know, even like when I'd be talking about girls and stuff to you and I'm like so impatient, you're just like, bro, just find a hobby. Just like do something else. It's like I can't. An hour to me feels like an entire day. Like I just experience time differently. And it's so difficult to just like find something to do for long periods of time. Like I really have to be hyper focused in on something. Like when we're creating content, for example, like when we're sitting here having a conversation, that time yep. flows by way differently to me compared to like if I'm just laying in my bed or if I'm just playing video games. Like the only game, and this is why I'm playing Elden Ring so much, because to do very small tasks in Elden Ring requires so much time. Like it, that's the only game I'm playing at this point that requires so much time from me to do very basic things. Uh, so does uh, Seven Days. When we play Seven Days, I get very excited because hours and hours and hours of time will go by and I won't have a panic attack. I won't have an anxiety attack. Like in the amount of time that when we play seven days, do you ever hear me talking about any women problems whatsoever? Uh, rarely. Very rarely. And it's usually because it's downtime. Like we're just... Yeah, like, we're sitting in a corner yeah, yeah, yeah. waiting for the night to be over. Yeah, that's it. Otherwise, you know, we're digging holes, building shit, zombie-proofing platforms, which, by the way, I want to go back to playing that this week if we have time. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, I'm down. Uh, no, I, I got, I'm trying to get this this other game, Satisfactory. You ever seen it? Satisfactory? No. What is that This is like a, it's honestly like, it's seven days with more features without the zombies. If that makes Without sense, like it's just zombies. a world. It's a builder. It's a builder. What is it called? Again? Like kind of like Minecraft, I guess. It's just called Satisfactory. Is it multiplayer? It's. Of course it is. Okay. You have it already. Yeah, I bought it. Oh, okay, I was gonna buy it for you, but all right, I'm gonna buy it right now. <laughs> Try it out. That and uh, we gotta play Valheim too. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I was trying to play that um on my own the other day. I had to uninstall it. <laughs> Damn, really? <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll reinstall it, but I mean, I, me like, even Uber can play. Uber likes playing. Yeah, I, I I've seen. <laughs> so, yeah. um, yeah, I mean, I even downloaded. You gotta it. unlock the fun shit, or not unlock it, but you have to find it. You know what? I I imagine that's that's probably it. I started playing Disgaea Six once again to do very small tasks that requires a lot. I even went and downloaded Warframe again. Ooh. Yeah. Not so that I'm I'm that desperate to take my mind off of all of my girl problems and have something to do because I can't make YouTube videos all day, every day. Like, it, like it's impossible. I can sit and like, I can edit, but in between rendering, saving, uh, if the, if the program force crashes, like that builds up my anxiety. And like the more I'm working on videos and stuff like that, that I'm excited to work on. Let me add that, that I'm excited to work on. It stops my anxiety of like, not just girl problems, but life, my car, my health, all this other stuff. And um, I need those distractions. So I started playing uh, Skyrim on my PS4, I guess, and my PS5 version. So I'm playing a different version on PS4. I'm playing a different version on PS5 and I'm playing a different version on PC. I'm playing all three of these versions simultaneously almost so when i'm done doing something in the ps4 version i'm playing an argonian right so of course i can swim underwater i can breathe like i have all of these magic effects blah 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 whatever i have specific classes that i want to tailor that build towards so i'm trying to do a no um like a like a no armor build type of thing uh with a nord on my ps5 version so mm. I'm trying to wear like nothing but like leather armor uh, and only acquiring like high level weapons that way with with like shitty gear and like leveling up. But the thing about Skyrim is, of course, everything in the game scales with you. So if you level up, so do your enemies. And in my PC version, that's just where I get to go crazy with all the mods and everything else. And I'm actually having a good time. So when I'm done with one, 
I'll log on to my PS5 and then play that version for a little bit. And then when I'm done with that, by the time I'm done doing that second one, I'm so Skyrimmed out. I'm so fatigued. Like I get to the computer version and then I just play for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I'm like, let me just get on Apex. And then, you know, that requires a whole lot of time to, you know, get better at that game. So, you know, I'm more suited for RPG type games. So, you know, I can really only occupy a certain amount of my time you know, uh, towards productive shit. But whereas let's substitute that. Say I'm working on a YouTube video almost all day. Well, I still have the downtime of like eight, nine and 10 PM. Bro. I just, I, I just, I'm not going to lie to you. I just started fucking taking hella drugs, bro. Like, huh? yeah, I, I take two to three edibles and I just let my brain go into the galaxy until I pass out. And not only that, I have um, this like basically like NyQuil <laughs> and I take like three shots of that before I even do anything. And I'll start like scrolling on my phone on TikTok. I, I did it last night. I dropped my phone on my face and passed out. I woke up this morning with my phone on my face. You should, you should find a better way to do that. Yeah, you see, I would do that, but literally nothing else has worked. Like, in order to avoid, like, all the anxiety and all of the fucking, let's be real, all of the pain and other shit that I have to fucking deal with, like, all I do is take drugs and make YouTube videos. That's literally it. So, I don't, I can't do anything else because it's not as effective. So. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, literally, I, I even after this you. show, bro, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting high out of my mind. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because it's what? 5.47 p.m. here right now. By s maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock, I need to be zonked. I need to be gone. Because we won't be... I mean, we could do another Patreon if you want, but I mean... So how much time is that going to really take? You know? Yeah. So, And that's why I enjoy like whenever we do have these talks and they're not about all the bullshit that I'm dealing with and it's just like about... YouTube, it's just about growth. It's just about like shit that we actually genuinely want to talk about. Um, so, you know, I don't know, yeah. man. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of putting shit together, I guess, just trying stuff. Um, if I find a better way to like, as an, as like a, uh, a means to like rid myself of like all these feelings and thoughts and shit like that, sure, I'll definitely try that. But, so far I've tried some of my favorite hobbies and that's like listening to music. That's not enough. Like that, that makes it worse actually. Like when I'm discovering new music and stuff like that, that's, I have like certain thoughts like, damn, I want to share this song with this person or uh, some songs will put me in a specific mood where I feel good. And just because I feel good does not mean the person that I want to talk to wants to talk to me still. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and that goes for yeah. anybody, not just, not just like women or anything like that. Like I have friends I'd be wanting to talk to, but it's like, it'll be like 2 a.m. Like, none of, my, none of my friends want to talk at 2 a.m. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Majority of my online friends are on the East Coast. They're out. They're in bed by 9 p.m. So, you know, like, then I'm just kind of sitting here and I'm like, all right, well, I got to wait for my UK homies to get on. I got to wait for like Lee Boy and Lorenzo and like for these guys to show up and want to play Apex. And so, mm. you know. So I was like, well, I can't stay up all night because I have to get up and stream at 6 a.m. I'm going to start getting uh, drugged out and black out. Because the worst case scenario is I die of an overdose. Okay, cool. Like, rock and roll. <laughs> cool is crazy. I mean, listen, some of the greatest artists of our generation and our time in history ever have made some of the most amazing stuff and were self-medicated. Like, I'm not using that as an excuse to say, like, oh, I'm a great artist. Like, I, I should be able to do drugs or whatever. But... At the same time, like, what else is going to relieve that pain? Like, even therapy is not doing so great. Like, as much as my, as much information as my therapist gives me, it requires time. Like, you still have to wait for time to go by. What's the fastest way for time to go by? Just go to bed. Like, it's just that simple. Just go to bed. Like, you, you burn six to eight hours just by going to sleep. Mm. So... If my brain goes on a roller coaster ride and it's completely separate of my, well, sometimes my feelings do get involved, but I, I wake up and I don't remember them. 
So what better way to pass six hours of time? Like the other day, I think it was on Monday. No, no, no. Monday I was good because me and me and GTA were were playing or whatever. Um, it was on Friday. Was it Friday or Saturday? No, no, no. It was definitely Saturday because I remember I was getting ready for the 4th of July thing. Um, Saturday, I ended up getting so fucking high that I like blacked out. Like I was gone on my fucking couch. And I remember eating food. I woke up and it was like 4.30 in the morning. My food was on the floor. And like I was slumped over like my spine was fucking broken. And of course I had to clean all that stuff up. And I just remember feeling bad. Like I was having an emotional fucking hangover. And I was like, yo, okay, so now I've reached my limit. Now I know like, okay, don't eat food and do all these drugs at the same time. Like it's just not... Like, because, also, the reason why I got to this point was because melatonin wasn't doing anything for me anymore. So I had to get the liquid stuff. And the liquid stuff hits hard. Like, I take one shot of, like, some of this stuff, and I'm out in, like, 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, I'm gone. I'm on my bed just, <sighs> like, snoring. Blacked out, drooling, like. And I'd be getting some good sleep, too. Like, I'd be waking up refreshed. <laughs> I'd be, oh, man. That's why when I woke up this morning, uh... Because yesterday I had I had taken the same stuff, but I took a little too much. So this morning I missed my 6 a.m. start time for my stream and I started at 7. And I woke up and I was like, damn, like I feel good. Like I'm ready to take on the day. So that gave me like an additional challenge to be like, oh, well, I can utilize this energy to have a good day, at least at the beginning until 5, 6 o'clock rolls around and my anxiety is like, hey, like what's going on? And it's like fuck that. I'm I'm getting high and I'm going back to bed. I woke up the other <laughs> night and I had I had gotten high about like eight o'clock. I woke up at two thirty in the morning, and I was like fully refreshed and ready for the day to start. So I got high again and went back to sleep. Okay. So, I mean, it, it's it, unfortunately it's literally the only thing I can do. Like I don't encourage anybody to do it at all. Uh, do I think it's necessary? For my life, yeah. It's kind of sucks. So, you know. Is there a, a dangerous possibility of it? Sure, I guess. But it can't be any worse than, like, living. And, like, dealing that with was shit exist- the <laughs> That was very existential. Well, I mean, that's just, that's just how I feel. You know what I mean? Like, I can't... I clearly... Do, I mean, you saw. I'm fucking stalking this bitch's Twitter, bro. Like, I can't... I can't continue to do shit like that. Like, that's not okay. Like, what am I, what are my other options? If literally nothing else is working. And you know, I'm a big, a big advocate for therapy. And if therapy's not really like cutting it in the time that I need it to, like I can only heal so fast. So I need those mm. six to eight hours to go by so that way my brain can process everything so I, I emotionally don't fucking have to. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not stalking anybody's Twitter if I'm blacked out. <laughs> I mean, it, that's real that's shit. That's a good way to think about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hurting my own feelings. bad fe- situation. Especially because, like, I'll go on this chick's Twitter and I'll see things that, like, as my mom puts it, hurting my own fucking feelings. Like, she'll like a certain tweet that's, like, disrespectful or she'll tweet a certain thing that, that hurts me emotionally. I'm like, dog, I can't keep doing this. Like I'm doing this shit to myself. I'm going to get high and getting getting fucking blasted out of my fucking mind. Fuck that shit. I'm hurting my own feelings every time I do it. Especially when, like, this is also a person who has told me they'll do one thing, but then their actions, they'll co- go ahead and do the exact opposite thing of what they said they were going to do. And they're very mm. consistent about doing that exact process. So I can't, I can't keep having that. I can't. I just can't. I have to, you know, I don't have enough money to always buy Legos and be building Legos all the time. Where am I going to put all this shit? You've seen the size of my apartment. (laughs) Where am I going to put all these fucking Legos, dog? So, you know, I I can only play video games so much. I can only exercise so much. Like the other day, uh, like last week, I worked out 10 times in one week. Like I work out in the morning on Monday and in the evening on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by the end of the week, 
I'm so I'm still dealing with anxiety and like all these feelings and stuff, but my body is so broken I physically cannot work out anymore. Which is like the worst because then I just be wanting to punch shit. So mm. and I definitely can't go around punching things. I gotta get high. I gotta get high and go to bed. Hey man, I don't I don't know how to help you. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean I I've even told you I can't eat. I can't really sleep. Like the other day was probably the most I've eaten and I ended up throwing up before I got home. Like I went to my friend's 4th of July like picnic or whatever that she was having at her house and uh we ended up eating and having a good time and stuff and like this is where my bipolar was like kicking in because there was like multiple times where I like wanted to break down and cry while we were playing Monopoly, dog. Like Damn. having mental health issues. I'm Monopoly. That, yeah, man. And I was winning. I was fucking winning. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, the way my my psychiatrist has really explained it to me, she's like, yeah, you're going to have these ups and these downs until you're able to stabilize it. And she was like, yeah, we can get you on some type of like mood suppressants, but it may change your overall, like how you how you move throughout the day. Like they'll stop the panic attacks for like a little bit. But it's not gonna stop like the processing that you need to do. It's not gonna stop. It's not gonna make that stuff go away. And I was like, you know what is? Going to sleep. <laughs> oh, I thought I thought you were gonna say drugs, but yeah, taking drugs and going to bed. That's that's the combination. I can't just like lay in bed and go to bed. Like I can't. Like I said, I can't. Outside of drugs, I can't eat and I can't sleep. So therefore, I have to do the things in order to like nourish my body. Like I haven't eaten since yesterday. And even yesterday, I had, like, a banana. I can't eat because it makes me nauseous. And then I either throw up or I shit it out. Like, that's how bad my nerves are. Mm. So, if I can't eat and I can't sleep, I, I, I have to get high. I have to get high to eat. Because then at least I'm getting food in my body. Mm. And if I get high to go to sleep... At least I'm getting rest and waking up on time at six o'clock in the morning, ready for my stream. So I still have to be on task with a lot of the stuff that I'm supposed to do. I can't let my life spiral out of control just because I'm sad. Some girl doesn't want to fucking be with me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it is what it is. Like, what else? I, you know, like I can't do anything. I, although it is all very unhealthy. Let me say that it is. All of it is very unhealthy. I was like, what else am I going to do? Yeah. I so, don't know. You know. Anyway, man. You know. That's where I'm at emotionally. Uh, <laughs> kind of dealing with that stuff. That's why I'm working so hard at uh, making YouTube videos, dog. Like, I can't. I'm not capable of doing anything else. Yeah. True. There's really not. That's just, you know, where I'm at. So, I still have to reach my goals. I still have to get us Mr. Beast level money. So, you know, I mean, listen, you can chuckle Look now, but, you know, when you see a Lambo pull up to your house in a big ass mystery box, you're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Knowing you, you're if probably not going to take it anyway. Lot. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, I, I, what am I going to do with the Lambo? No, that, if it, that actually happened, I'm going to be pissed because the insurance on that bitch is going to be crazy. Nah, it's all right. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Plank, it's only $4,000 in car insurance. What are you... <laughs> 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 but yeah man this is only all of your bills combined yeah exactly this this car monthly payments cost more than your house like <laughs> yeah and you so, gotta pay for gas it, oh yeah with I inflation think, i think that would be the most disrespectful thing to give you a gas a, a gas car instead of just buying you like a tesla or something like that'd be like jay why you disrespect me like that <laughs> and then a car with premium too yeah oh, right. fuck you. <laughs> can't even use 87 dog <laughs> Jesus Christ. So about to be getting gas from Walmart. <laughs> fucking shit's fucked. Uh, but yeah, man, that's that's where stuff is at. I'm still trying to be very goal oriented while dealing with I'd have to say some of the worst depression I've ever fucking dealt with, like functionally wise. I mean, before like my previous forms of depression, I could at least like get stuff done because I knew I had to. With this one, I have to trick my brain into me actually being productive to do things. Um, and given my setting, 
and my situation and my my living scenarios are completely different like i live alone like i can't i don't want to get to a point where i can't be held responsible for living on my own i don't want to get to a point where like i i could physically hurt myself you know what i mean i don't know i don't know how that degradation happens i've never i mean it's only been very few times in my life where i felt the need to like self-harm right but Mm. self-medicate is very very like there's a very thin line between self-medicate and self-harm and i feel like if i stay in one section while also being productive in my life i can achieve all of the goals i want to achieve without having to worry about them Mm. so especially like outside of once again outside of like girls and emotional problems and all that other stuff right my only goal is to to and my only obligation really is to my my youtube channel that's it. My YouTube channel, my podcast, and my job. Outside of that, I should mm. be sleep. My entire day, I should be sleep. No, for, sleep. no, for real. Like, and I even like the more Kevin Samuels content I watch, like it comes down to like, of course, you know, I only watch his men's content because all that other shit is just fucking bogus anyway. I don't give a shit about that. He says that mm. your problems are not big enough. And if your problems are not big enough and you're not working uh, 45 to 50, 60 hours a week, like you're 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 behind i'm 30 and if i can't emotion if i can't work harder and work more because i'm so emotionally torn up i need to substitute that time with something else that's productive and that's resting sure the means to get to resting are very harsh and crazy but that's what i have to do you know what i mean yeah so you know I've cut back on playing Genshin. I've cut back on playing mobile games. Like, I'm spending less money on... Bro, I'm spending... I went from spending... Oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. I went from spending any money on OnlyFans, you know, and, like, supporting people I know and people I don't know. Let's mix that in there because that's definitely true. I support a few of my friends who are content creators on there to spending zero. Just in the last month, I've spent zero dollars on OnlyFans. $0 Zero dollars on Fansly. Thank you, thank you. And oh you know what that God. is? You know what that is? Spending money on drugs. <laughs> oh. But it's a lot cheaper to spend eight dollars on Vix Sleep Aid compared to spending almost uh, any amount of money on OnlyFans. One is definitely. <laughs> you didn't want to give a number. No, I'm not scary. gonna come, y'all. I I will give a number of how much money I spent just get trying to get Ito before I I say how much money I spent on OnlyFans. Like. <laughs> I still don't have that character. I spent two hundred and ten dollars the other day trying to get Ito. <laughs> Again? I thought you already had him. I don't have him. That's the problem. I see. I see six Kuki twice. Ew. I I I see six Chong Yun. It got so bad. The only solid five star I got, I got three catchings. Why is catching Ew. on the Ito banner? Told you, bro. So yeah, I've in total so far I've spent two hundred and ten dollars on just genshin today starts the first day of dokkan battles seventh anniversary i'm gonna spend 120 dollars on that jesus and then then i'm gonna turn around and bleach brave souls is a week and a half from now that's easily 500 bleach, uh something's on their 10th anniversary yeah uh it's for bleach I see, yeah, I think so. Oh, that must be something I'm not playing because Brave Souls is on its seventh anniversary, and I'm already allocating spending five hundred dollars on whatever unit comes out. So, I forgot. I saw something where it was like the tenth anniversary. Hmm. Shit, if I know, but you know, these are the means that I have to go to. I mean, I've drastically saved a lot of money by switching from. Sw- <laughs> This is this is wild that I say switching to Geico, switching from OnlyFans to to mobile games and drugs. Like, I don't have to take phone calls that emotionally stress me out. I don't have to look at text messages that emotionally stress me out until the next day. So mm-hmm. you know, it is what it is, man. Like, it's just what I got to do. When I figure out something else or I figure out a better alternative, basically, when YouTube starts making more money, let's be real. Like, when I start making more money and, like, feeling like I'm getting actually, like, when I'm getting something back, I probably won't feel normal doubt until I have 10,000 subs. At 10,000 subs, I will be making multiple pieces of content a day. I may not even be, like, a full-time content creator, but I'm going to act like it. 
Mm. So, you know. There you go. I feel like that's a milestone once I hit that, then like all of this will actually be for something. So, you know. But what do I know? I I I don't know shit about shit. So True. Yeah. But that's pretty much it for me, man. I don't I don't have nothing else. You wanna do another Patreon episode after this or you got stuff to do? Uh I have to make my little brother something, but uh other than that, I don't know what we talk about. We just spent all my time talking about this. Oh no, I today I'm on. I could find us something. We'll find three more topics oh, okay. to talk about. But anyway, we want to thank you guys for listening to this week's episode of the Patreon. Uh guys, once again, do not do not be like me. Do not self medicate. That's that shit is not good for you. Seek other options first. Uh, I, I want to like very much urge that. Um, but yeah, you know, thank you guys for listening. We really, really appreciate you. Um, yeah, I don't have, I don't have nothing else to say. That's that's pretty much it. Just thank you. Other than that, Plank. Oh, that's it. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time.